let's open the Google Apps Script in the browser, and go to Apps Script Google Developers, and click on the Apps Script dashboard. After this, we are prompt to a page, where we can create the new project, and also display the previous project which were already created. Firstly, you can rename the untitled project by clicking on it, and then can edit the name of the project and click OK. Now, to create the new files, click on the file menu, go to new, and choose the option, whether you want to create project, script file or HTML file. Name the file as code.js, which include a do get function, that tells the evaluate method, to execute the script lets, and convert the template into an HTML output object, that the script can serve to the user by calling get content method. Named it as index.html. In this code, you can see the different syntax comparing to actual HTML file, as you can see this tags called as printing scriptlet, which appear in italics, that run, and executes on the server before the page is served to the users. Another one is, include function, which is used to import the css.html, and javascript.html file content into the index.html file. Named it as CSS and JS. For CSS.html file, you need to include the style tag, which indicate the style sheet file. Likewise, for JS.html file, you need to include the script tag, which indicate the JavaScript file. These tags are used mainly to show that, they are CSS and JavaScript files within the HTML snippet. You can run the code.js file, by clicking run option, and click publish option, then choose deploy as web app option. Here, you can set the project version as new, or one, or any number. Also, you can set execute the app, as me or users access. And, even you can set, who has the access to the app as only myself or anyone. After this, click on the update button, and here, you can check your web app by clicking on latest code option, try to drag and drop the items here and there. Thank you for watching this video.